assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to install odo on uh, aws ec2 uh, cloud server uh, i just written uh, down 15 steps uh, to summarize the installation of uh, odo on the cloud we have installed all the python dependency required for odo, odo 13 using pip3 we used pip3 because we want to install dependencies for python 3 <clears throat> after that we will go back to step 10 to create the config file for udo to set up all the configurations so we will just set up all the basic configuration we will not talk about the details of the config file so we will just uh, check uh, uh, basic configuration from udo uh, cd udo type and then Udo, not Udo, but sorry, CD, type CD, Debian, so we can get Udo.conf to copy all the configuration, to copy all the configuration from here, so we go back cd Udo and create a config file uh, nano Udo 13 dot conf and paste everything here so we will implement the define here or do under dot opg Udo 13 so we will implement this and we will get the password for, for uh, the postgres user it was udo13 and the user was udo13 and the postgres is it's so let us save this and so what is the let me take the configuration successfully right so what is the next step next is to create a config file inside this path so what we will do we, so we will uh, as uh, you know uh, we are an udo 13 user so we uh, we will have to switch this user to ubuntu so ubuntu is a super user therefore uh, the reason behind this is uh, that uh, we have installed supervisor as a uh, super user and the directory created uh, for our config file is under super user so we cannot create it on uh, for again uh, so we cannot create it for udo 13 because udo 13 don't have access to config directory so first we will have to switch user back so we uh, etc we are inside etc it is inside etc not Mm. And it in no the thirteen dot on file. So let me just copy the conf parameter from here. I just created here before. So paste it here. And let me explain a parameter program. Uh, we need to enter the name of the Ubuntu user, user name of the Ubuntu user again. Command we have to uh, uh, we have to keep the directory of um, Udo bin file. Like if you want to run for uh, Udo 13, so we will have to give the directory of Udo bin inside Udo 13 directory, and we also need to give the config file path so that it can fetch all the configuration from this file auto restart means uh, so the service should restart automatically if uh, we restart the server uh, like that so uh, we also need to add the config the log file which will auto create automatically when we restart the server and all the udo logs will uh, generated in this uh, file uh, will be created in this file automatically let me just save this file just save it so we are done so 
So after that we are done, we will uh, stop and start it. Mm, this is not to start and stop the Udo, but the supervisor. System search one units automatically. Sorry, let me just use use like server and then need to um, start the server uh, supervisor service uh, using this command sudo service supervisor start. So let me start it and let's check status. So it's actually running one. Okay, that's great. So let's. So let me run this command. The role uh, instance will, uh, will not service will not add no because I have already run this command and the ser Odoo service already added uh, and linked. So mm, this will return no config update. So if there is any new uh, config file available to be linked, then uh, it will be added uh, automatically. Uh, so yes, I uh, I have added these steps at the end, uh, which is step, step number sixteen, uh, which is needed only for um, like uh, EC two instance. So this is just specific to EC2 instance so let me just show you how to add our port number uh, um, on EC2 instance security groups inbound and outbound rules say so, uh, our port number is 8013 so let me just open my browser and uh, this is uh, the instance where I set uh, up it so let me just open the groups and uh, click action uh sorry just refresh it so click action inbound uh go to at the end a uh, click add rule here uh, you will have to add your port number whatever port number you specify in the config file uh, add it here and selects uh, this one zero 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 so click save rule mm, so you are ruled edit now uh, second step is to add uh, in the outbound rules uh, click add 8013 so select this one and save the rules so these were the steps which were needed to um, so let me just uh, start it like uh, you are public IP uh, enter in the browser g13 web slash database slash manager edit go so everything is working fine if you like this video uh, please subscribe our channel please share this video or with all your colleagues and friends and also please like this video thank you